Why would anyone want to help your kind? You are kind. You are kind. Yeah. This yeah. is so much. Hold your fire. This man isn't black. I knew like, it. Nah. I knew it was gonna show up. What? Like my dog talking about some what? They don't even look alike, bro. <laughs> What is good, y'all? We got a new video from Zephyr titled Every Character in Dragon Ball is Racist. And I say it like that because, you know, YouTube be tripping. But what you mean? I mean, like, Frieza, King Cold, Cooler, all of them. Yeah, I can see that. But uh, you said every. I need, I need an explanation, Zephyr. And this is a different type of video for you. I'm not going to lie. So, if y'all enjoy this, hit them with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit them with it. If y'all enjoy my reaction, please do the same for your boy. And let's figure out what he's talking about today. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hello, monkey. Of course, Frieza. I don't know about y'all boys, but it's a great time to be a dragon. We got Dino Thanks. going crazy and Spider yep. Zero being the yep. best anime game of all time. Besides the fact that I'm getting, and I cannot do anything. There's nothing I can do. There is you nothing I cooked. can do. There is oh. nothing I can do. There is nothing. Yeah. Get in the lab. I was playing my boo team the other day because we all know Majin Buu is Congolese. In one of my matches, I peeped this. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. The game is crazy. Kid Buu is allowed to wait. Say, Goku said, wait. I want you to become a human. And wait, 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 wait. Ain't that a Japanese, like, word, though? Like, isn't it N-I-G-A? Look how black he came out. He is definitely certified. But just hearing that in the game and also peeping this. It seems we've returned to a future where there is no black. Just had me wondering about all the mm. racism that's in this series. Like we all know, Frieza. Why do you think for the monkey? I'm not for the monkey. Cooler. Super yeah. Saiyans, yes, but monkeys all the same. Yeah. Kamasu was so racist, he made his own slur for humans. Ningen. 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 And someone like Moro be a little questionable. And watching all that brought me to a realization. Bro, everyone in this show racist. Not. Now, but not, not to beat the grounds. Oh, and then you gonna start with my goat? But at the same time, it's valid. Because I, I am a Vegeta fan, and being 100 with you, I can see it out of him. I hate to say it. Old Vegeta especially. New Vegeta, less so. But old Vegeta, absolutely. Vegeta is a great character. I know a lot of y'all love him, but he's just Russus. Like, flat out. He is everything in the book. This man is racist, classist, colorist, ableist. It's insane. This thing is everything but useful. Now, if I was hey, to damn, you didn't have to do that. Definitely a lot of stuff I could have grabbed for Vegeta, but I'm mainly here just to talk about the big ones. You are gonna see? There's a main reason why we call Namek. the Namekians black. They're the main ones that get the racial backlash. Now, I just want you to watch this scene and tell me what's wrong with it. With that union, Piccolo has become more powerful than I am, even as a Super Saiyan. But that's impossible. He's nothing more than a mere Namek. Like, first off, not only... I, you flipped that. A, a white dude. Just a random versus white dude. It's impossible. Even me being the great white hope. He's more powerful or more smart than me as a Nick. You feel me? Is this statement extremely racist? Listen to what he refers to Piccolo as. The Namek, the Namek. The Namek. The Namek. He really called him Namek with the hard K, brother. You're, You're weird. weird. Like, I need y'all to mention hey, my around how racist this is. He isn't saying Namekian. He's saying Namek. He isn't saying African or Asian. Nigga, he's calling you the continent. Like, yeah. Like, you know insane that is? What? How can he ball like that? He's nothing but a mere Africa. Oh, there we go. There we go. I really do not speak on how egregious this is. I would damn near say it's worse than Frieza's monkey. Flat out. Like, at least in Vegeta's nah, case, he can make racism. Nah, 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 Zeph, I gotta, I gotta disagree. The, the way he, the amount of mm, he put into it, he be calling you a monkey with his heart, his soul, and every bit of key within him, bro. Everything in Frieza, his ancestors pull up to call you a monkey. So I don't know if you can do that, bro. 
damn near say it's worse than Frieza's monkey. Flat out. Like, at least in Vegeta's ah. case, he can make racism look cool. Dropped one of the hardest lines against AT, and he said, I'd rather die alone fighting than to join hands with Earthlings, Namekians, and Kakarot. Line was so tough, even 17 was clapping. I know what you are. But then at the end, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's Vegeta. Ain't nobody worried about him. I heard that one of them little kids might be Broly. And since we on the topic, we might as well talk about Trump. Love you flipping the beef. And I know some of y'all might give him Wait, hold up, hold up It's because they were Hitler in his time But me, I ain't letting nothing slide Because you get hold the on. racism of Obama And the racism of Vegeta And put him into one person You know he's gonna be a tweaker No way, you're a plague to the earth Just like all the other androids why would anyone want to help your kind? Your kind. Your kind. Yeah. With spewing yeah. so much racism, even Vegeta was concerned. And there are some points where it gets real bad. We go to 13, and he is only pressing Goku in this conversation. He wasn't even oh. mentioning Trunks. But Trunks was so bothered by an android speaking, he had to move in front of Goku. <laughs> Ain't nothing with the sound of it. Also, I just watched this, the bridge version of this movie recently. Um. You know, I would never say it's justified, but in Trunks' sense, it's justified. After everything he's been through, it's justified, bro. It, everything that he will go through, it's justified. Just to say, you're just a slave, a pawn with no free will of its own. Is that it? Like, you know, it's bad. Out of context. The reason is a Out of context. country boy who would probably say nigga himself. Boy, segregation, hatred. Is that what you've done with your free will, boy? Don't you lecture me with your $30 haircut. Goku died. That's why Android 13, my nigga, for real. But what you say, bruh? I said this when I watched the abridged movie. I gotta watch this movie, bro. Again, I watched it as a child. I don't remember none of that. I do not remember his accent whatsoever, bruh. He really sounded like that? Boy, segregation, segregation, segregation. Yeah, I don't know about that one. He definitely a segregation advocate. I'm sorry, no dragons allowed. Ah! Sorry, no dragons allowed. Ah! Like, bro, Trunks is so bad. And this doesn't even get me started on the black stuff. Murderer! Hold your fire! This man isn't black. I knew like, it. Nah, I knew it was going to show up. Y'all going to be like, oh, he's talking about Goku Black. Okay, nigga. Yeah, nah. How about this? <laughs> Sparky Zero that just came out. Trunks says this. Goku black? I swear I'll... Huh? You're not black? Nah, bro, I'm moving on. Goku. Goku is the GOAT. He yeah. The goat. We knew this. Yeah. But even someone like Goku got his moments. And sadly, it's literally to just Namekians. Exhibit A is when he pulls up to New Namek to get Dende to be a guardian, and he's all like, Wow, look at all the piccolos. What? That's like a Chinese person coming over here, bro. And the only only black person they know is Michael Jordan. Look at all the Jordans. Or I ain't gonna lie, it's like when somebody who not black, bro, say we look like somebody else, bro. Like I hate when I when someone be like, "Oh, bro, you look just like," and you pull us side by side, we don't look nothing alike, bro. At least when like. People say me and Foolish look alike. At least you can kind of, you know, see, like, we could be cousins. But nah, when white people would be like, I'm trying to give a, trying to give a good one. Like me and what's his name who just, me and uh, Michael B. Jordan look alike. No, we don't, bro. We just black. Chill. A lot of these examples are self-explanatory, but I could really put it in a real-life context for you to really know how bad some of these are. Wow. Look at all the LeBrons. You see how crazy that sound, nigga? In each I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, Zef. I swear to God. I, I, to every, Zef, to everybody watching this, I didn't watch this before. All right. Me, look, I do this all the time, bro. I do this all the time, bro. I just be there, bro. Example is more and more hilarious, but also more egregious. There's a part in the Lord Slug movie where Goku literally goes false Super Saiyan. But the moment he realized he was a Namekian, he broke out of his blinding rage and goes, What? Like my dog talking about some what? Like, nigga, what? <laughs> they don't even look alike, bro. <laughs> Into perspective, how racist this is. They don't even look alike. But wait, wait, two different shades. I want y'all to put into perspective how racist this is. They don't even.
Two different shades, bro. The eyebrows ain't even the same. Like, look at look at how much of Piccolo's forehead his eyebrows take up, right? Look at the chin. Look at the chin. Like, if you said two different shades, but they were the Ninja Turtles, you know, the old four Ninja Turtles, you can make a case. You can make a case. The antennas, I guess, the ear lengths are two different ones, bro. How? How, bro? Dame Harden and Tyler the Creator right, at this point. They look alike, but he was so confused he got knocked out of Super Saiyan. Like, how do you? Oh crap, Piccolo! My bad. Actual profile in this nigga is trash. Like again, I'm gonna put it in a real life context. What? And I can keep going. Not even close. I can talk about the first time he met Kami and said. He cried. And on Sight tried to drop this nigga. Like, imagine if that punch actually landed. What was your plan? <laughs> My bad, bro. I thought you were someone else. Nigga, <laughs> I could really go on and on. We got Gohan appropriating the culture. Him wearing this fit on Namek is equivalent of a white dude wearing a full kufi in Africa. I know the Namekians were seeing this little Asian boy running around like, yo, who the fuck? Is this <laughs> and that's not the end of taking culture. She tries to pretend to be another race. This would do do rag go on though. I rock with do rag go on. Just so we could pull some hugs, even getting mad at Krillin about it. Like, bro, mixed niggas want to be racially ambiguous so bad, nigga. I know you. You're a Mexican. I could have gave Boma a whole section. You know how many times she called Goku Monkey Boy in the beginning of the series, and Master Roshi's a whole PDF that be sexually assaulting. But hey, when yeah. she the fan, is she still a fan? He made the Kamehameha. You said he touched those kids. We also got this scene where Broly straight G checks the Z fighters taking their M word pass. Now in Broly one, what does Broly refer to Goku as? Kakarot. 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 This right. is common knowledge. But after this part right here, where he says this, if you had just let me kill you all before, you wouldn't be dealing with this pain now. You're all complete and utter waste of sand blood. What does he call him now? What was that supposed to be, Goku? He calls him Goku for the rest of the fight. If I was to put this in context, that's disrespect. Even call Goku a real nigga anymore. If oh. I rewatched the entire series, I promise you there would have been so much more for me to add. I Besides, believe you. I'm playing Spark and Zero, so I could care less. Y'all can tap into the second channel and the Twitch. I'll be running fades with viewers every week, and that's all I had to say. Balma, do you want to close it off? There, that should do it. Hey guys, have to it. <laughs> Zeph, Zeph, look, I still got to buy Spark and Zero. I do. I Y'all know I like to have something on the screen. I still got to get Spark and Zero, bro. When I do, I already got got some people lined up that I want to fight. Some friends, some uh, other content creators. Zeph, for that ending, bro, and it's not going to be too much longer. What, what, cons, what, what system you on? PC? PlayStation, I hope PlayStation, because that's what I was thinking about getting it on. Xbox. For that ending, bro. I yeah, line that bitch up. Line that bitch up right now. You feel me? But uh okay, okay. I I feel a little better better about the uh the uh, the big R in this situation, bro. I thought they meant I thought that we about to get like of course monkey jokes, right? Praise him. He's he's Hall of Fame. He's Hall of Fame big big R, bro. It is it is what it is. But I thought we were going to go get, because let's not forget, there was, like, before Super, before, I think it was before, yeah, before Z, of course, there was a black man. And I'm not talking about Mr. Popo, but some of his characteristics did resemble Mr. Popo's, uh, namely the lips. And it's just like, Toriyama, rest your soul, rest your soul. But... I wish I could have just been there beside you when you were drawing him. Just like, eh, maybe, maybe not go with that. Maybe not that, Toriyama. Maybe we can do something a little different with the lips. I know you're trying to show them full, but you know what you can do? Just draw like a little hump over the line that you give everybody else. All right? I mean, that's what they kind of do nowadays, especially with women. If women got full lips in anime, they'll just kind of draw a line to show the space between her lips. I'm fine with you. I'll be more fine with that than with... But rest in peace, Toriyama. We don't hold it against you. But namely because a lot of American cartoons that came out back in the day, that which are a lot of reference points, had that you know appeal to it. 
Uh, even Bugs Bunny and like all their little his all the uh, Looney Tunes, they had that representation. But we don't hold it against uh, Bugs Bunny nowadays. We can still hold it against some of the creators. We're not gonna hold it against Toriyama. Rest in peace, Toriyama, as always. But I'm just glad it didn't just stay there, you know. Nah, I mean everybody was a little racist against everybody else, bro. I mean Goku against Namekians. Frieza against Saiyans, Broly to honestly everybody, uh, Trunks to androids. Y'all just gotta watch what y'all say. And then also Zephyr, <laughs> I saw what you did. You took some stuff out of context, but it still helped your point, bro. You put it in context, like oh, it's not that. It's not as bad. Out of context, egregious. But I mean, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, if you went through all my videos and you grabbed. Half of the stuff I say, took it out of context. I don't think I look racist. But I could look very sus at times because I don't say some stuff and I had to pause myself. And if you catch me before I say pause, ball game. But look, if y'all enjoyed this, bro, Zephyr done, I think this is like second or third upload this month, bro. He's on a roll. Hit him with the goodness, y'all. That's like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell so you get notified when he dropped again. That is the goodness. Hit him with it. And if y'all enjoyed my reaction, please do the same for your boy. This is me, your boy, Reggie Wolf. I am signing out.